the soundtrack to Happy Valley. You guys play the best music. Greatest music ever. You guys rock. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna party tonight. Cause honestly, I just don't care. 4.5. The runner-up of America's Next Up Model Cycle 19, Kiara, on the line with me. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. So throughout the season, you were coined as the underdog or the inspirational character. And you were telling everyone that you were in this competition for your grandmother and your brothers and sisters. And being far away from your family for so long can be really tough. Tell us what was going through your head whenever you saw your grandmother in Jamaica during your nylon photo shoot. Oh, man. I had missed her so much, and especially in a competition like that where you know we don't get to talk to each other much on the phone it was it was amazing to see her and it really just gave me all the more motivation to to push forward and keep going and I was super ready for the show especially when she got there and to have her watch it was just awesome because I felt like I was doing it for her so when she was there you can't really tell but um when I was walking back I actually like kind of looked at her just with my eyes and you yeah. know her face is so just so full of pride and it was a great moment Oh my gosh, yeah, that must have been so nice to see her. Well, after the season finale, they aired an episode of Never Before Seen Footage. And from that footage, it kind of looked like you were a part of a lot of the drama going on in the house. You got into a fight with Darian early on in the season, and then you were kind of involved in the argument between Leela and Laura and Kristen. Were you really the instigator in these fights, like some of the other girls were claiming? Or was it kind of exaggerated from what the camera showed in the episodes and what they could show and what they couldn't show? I never once instigated one fight in the house. <laughs> and I don't know how all of this drama ended up around me. But yeah. I think it's because, you know, I do have a very big personality, and Darian did as well. And sometimes that tends to clash. And it was just the fact that, you know, we don't know each other, and it is competition. Yeah. And we all are from different places. And, you know, but I, I never instigated. I kind of just would always pick up for myself. Because that's one thing that, you know, I, I don't really don't tolerate. And, I wasn't going to be disrespected in any way, so or, or you know, sort of kind of back down. So I really want to establish myself. So I, I have many more sides to me. So I think <laughs> that they definitely showed that throughout the competition. But that is one side is on that side of that bad side. You can't get that. But oh <laughs> yeah, you know, it was just it was just the whole the whole like it was a company. We didn't have anything in the house. There's no TV or anything. So like, of course things <laughs> happen, and girls are girls, and oh, yeah. so it is competition. So things are about things are about to happen that way, but I mean, you know, I made some good friends in the house also. So that was just a couple instances, but I was not never a common denominator ever in a fight. I didn't talk about people, and I was really focused <laughs> on the competition. And I think that girls are kind of just saw me as a threat and tend to kind of lash out on those girls. So I, I knew that, but it wasn't it didn't affect my uh, my performance in the competition at all. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it must have been crazy. First of all, living in a house with so many other girls and all of these girls you don't know and you're all in this competition together I mean tension must have been high and it does it definitely creates for great reality television to say the least yeah for sure well let's talk about the judging system in this cycle we saw a new judging system where the fans had a lot of input into your scores each week what was it like to get fan feedback during panel especially since sometimes the fans weren't really nice at all it was you know it, it's kind of hard but you kind of got to you gotta take it. We all knew we were signed up for, and like I said, only the song had survived because it is hard to hear, you know, people talking about you in that light. But yeah. um, you know, you kind of take it with a grain of salt, and kind of get, kind of gotta listen to them. It's hard to please everyone, but if the fans are kind of giving you feedback, you kind of gotta give them what they want. So you know, it, it's a very different aspect. It's still a whole new element. You know, but I enjoyed it. I think that it's a really good twist. I like the direction that they went, and I wouldn't change a thing about it. Definitely, yeah. It's it's a great way to get immediate feedback, especially from your fans, and you can kind of generate right. a really big fan base and have everyone follow right. you. During the season finale, you guys did your couture fashion show, and the judges, they thought that you had the best runway walk out of the girls left in the competition. And after the show, did you think that you had an advantage over the other girls going into panel? because you did so well? Well, I knew that I had an advantage because, you know, of my I, I think that's definitely a strength of mine. But then again, I didn't know how they were going to do the final scoring and how they were going to determine, you know, if it would be more weighed on the run race show or the photo shoot. And so when they said they were going to average everything together and I realized that my social media still was going to be averaged in, it was kind of like right now it's anybody's game, yeah. um, you know, because it, it, was, it was very nerve-wracking and I was... It was a very scary moment being up there, um, you know, with the final two, I'm not going to lie. But, uh, you know, it was very hard at first. 
year that I didn't win. But then when I looked back at everything that I got and gained, it was just like, what an experience. First of all, and then all the stuff I got, you know, Tyler Perry and Jamaica and Elite Keys and, you know, oh, yeah. so I, I couldn't be happier. You know, and I think at the end of the day, I was winning and it. It really gave me the exposure that I needed for my career to just take off. Like, I have huge things coming up and, you know, I'm just so grateful for everything that the show has brought. And it's definitely just the beginning. So, very, very excited. Oh, yeah. Well, you have been an athlete all of your life. And as a model, you had to break that stereotype that athletes can't be models. However, many of the girls did yeah. have different body types this cycle. And do you think being an athlete helped you to become the model that you are today? I definitely think that being an athlete helped me become the model I am today. Because, you know, I, I have a lot of body control. With being an athlete, you kind of got to yeah. know your body. And it allowed me to take direction very well. Because I know that coming onto the show prior to, I had no modeling experience. But I knew that I could, you know, be coached. I've been coached my whole life. So I was like, oh, it was different kind of, a different kind of game. But I think I can really give them what they want if they give me the feedback that I need to hear. So just being able to, you know, listen and be dedicated and the resilience that it takes to be in a competition like this, especially because of the social media aspect of it, you know, that athleticism and, and just the, the whole athletic nature that I have, that competitive nature really, like, kind of pushing me forward. So, yeah, for sure, it definitely play a role in it. Awesome. You do have a very inspirational story that was brought up a lot throughout the entire season. What advice can you give to girls who may have a similar situation as yours and who want to get into the modeling world? My advice would be to, to never give up. Just, just be resilient because in this industry especially, you're not going to book every job. And it's the models that kind of get back up and go back out there that, that become successful because, you know, it's, just, it's important to remember that you can do anything. You choose what your mind to, no matter what your situation is. So as long as you stay focused and take one day at a time and really learn and, and take everything in, you'll be fine. So that's just, resilience is the main thing, to be strong and be able to take criticism because it's very cutthroat. They talk about you like you're not even in the room, but you got to be able to take it. So just stay strong. And never give up. Now that America's Next Top Model is over for you, are you going to continue your modeling career in the future? Yes, absolutely. I am so excited <laughs> for the future. I have already, just a few days ago, I had a photo shoot with Janice Dickinson herself. Oh, that's awesome. And um, Tosh, and, uh, yeah, and Tosh, and as supermodels in the industry, and I've just been meeting the right people at the right time, and everything's kind of taken off. So I hope to do more runway shows in the future because I do love the runway. And just travel and meet people. It's been an awesome experience, and I really want to take this as far as I can. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. Well, how can your fans follow you in your future career with modeling? Well, uh, you can definitely follow me on Twitter okay. at underscore Kiara Bellin, my name. And then on Instagram at kbellin30, my number, my last phone number, and okay. uh, on Facebook. And I really do I really do reach out to my fans, and they, I retweet, I talk to them, and I'm always there, and all the pictures are always updated. So that's awesome. where you can follow me. Well, perfect. Thank you so much. And we really appreciate all the time you're taking out to talk to everybody. And good luck with your future career. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you in magazines and on the runway. Yes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm very excited. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. What's the status? Like us on Facebook at V94.5 Morning Zoo Crew.